So just to focus on one aspect of that, uh, I, I would imagine your churches are aging in the sense that um, younger people are moving away, particularly through their university experiences, uh, where it seems to me that campus life in America is has really adopted a very different worldview, one that is broadly not only um, different, but actually quite antagonistic towards a traditional Christian worldview. That's interesting. I'm not sure that the tension uh, that you're describing between the worldview of uh, mainstream secular universities and the worldview of traditional religious institutions is something that has changed, uh, particularly over the past few generations. I mean, we have pretty good sociological data that tells us that uh, universities have been, broadly speaking, to the left of American culture um, uh, in, in general. I mean, gosh, I mean, for, for at least a century, that's been true. So my own, my own university is located in a town called Chapel Hill. And you can go back more than 100 years and find conservatives in the state of North Carolina referring to my university as Red Hill because it was a den of atheistic socialists. So that tension you're pointing to it goes back uh, quite a long ways, long predates the real collapse in uh, religious faith and church attendance among younger Americans. So if we look at the, at the statistical data, it looks like the big change among Americans under the age of 35 began really in the 1990s. I mean, that's where we start to see significantly larger numbers of younger Americans uh, telling survey takers that they are no longer part of a church, they, they are pulling back from their, some of their traditional beliefs. Uh, so, I, I mean, I think you're, you're right to um, point to the, the sort of the, the tension uh, between those different uh, subcultures and institutions in America, but that's a, that's a long-standing pattern. And as I've studied the big picture of the history of secularization and the transforming role of organized religion, it has seemed increasingly to me that uh, faith and reason have always been in tension. You know, I think they've been in tension since the days of, of the ancient Greeks. 